Okay, sorry for my messy workbench and area. Uh, a lot of different projects here that I haven't finished. I, I really need to clean up this desk. But anyway, this is 2016. It's towards the end of November, um, almost December. Um, this is the original taffy machine I designed in 2012. And it was not designed to be particularly fancy or great um, my aim was just to get a working prototype that that functioned and and that's what it did it, and it worked great um, the original had two large about six inch in diameter blue plexiglass gears and they worked great um, but they did pose a pinching hazard and so that kind of bugged me and so in 2016 I decided to revisit it and and upgrade it a bit and so the first the first thing I tried was actually um, I tried getting two of these geared down motors um, this is a geared down motor 65.5 to 1 ratio at 24 volts DC and I tried putting two of those um, but even though they were the same gearing ratio, they didn't quite rotate at exactly the same speed. So obviously for a taffy machine that is critical uh, because both of these arms need to rotate at opposite directions at the same time so they don't hit each other and, and that didn't work. So my new idea was to shrink down the gears and put them inside and so that's what I did. Um, these are the new gears. Um, these are actually 3D printed. So as the first ones were plexiglass, these are made out of hips or ABS on a small Lulzbot Mini, which has about 6 inches by 6 inch printing space. Uh, these came out quite well. Um, they seem to be working fine. I opted to print them at 100% infill as opposed to 20%. Um, partially because this particular one I'm using I have brass inserts and any hollow space tends to weaken that area. So these are working quite well with some set screws. Um, this machine is using quarter inch uh, steel um, stock bar bar stock. Um, in the future, if I were to remake that, I'd probably get stainless steel. You can see kind of some corrosion that happened as I, I didn't clean them up um, all that well. But overall, it's, it's a great design um, and I like it. And I'm going to be releasing the design files as open source on Thingiverse and probably my blog again. Um, and I'll plug this in and, and show you how it's working. It's this power pack that I'm using is actually 19 volts DC, and so it's not exactly 24, uh, but it's close enough. And I'll show you. It's quite fast. So that's it working right now. Uh, here's the back. So that does appear to be really fast, but once you get taffy on there, which is really thick, uh, you need a lot of torque, and so the speed will actually probably go about half that. And so 24 volts, 19 to 24 volts is, is just about perfect. Um, this gear ratio, 65.5 to 1, seems to be a good ratio for the motor. Um, gives it enough torque and speed. Um, trying to think what else I should talk about. Yeah, so that's my my new Taffy machine, version 2. It's not much different than the original. Um, in the future, things that I would change would be, if you're building your own, go with stainless steel. I, I'll probably upgrade even this one at some point. Um, the second one is, this is not exactly square. This is a kind of tapered plastic bucket and so the end is actually slightly smaller than the bottom um, 
and it's close enough that it doesn't really matter it kind of creates some gaps here um, with these spacers it's, it's not a big deal but you know honestly a perfectly square frame would be better um, but overall I, I like the design um, it's cheap it's simple and for someone who just wants to make a small batch at home uh, this is the perfect size you know it's not too small it's not too big um, one idea I would like to see either I design or someone else off of this design and improve it is these arms do get in the way when you're trying to store store it um, mm -hmm. so if there was some way to have detachable arms um, where you could easily clean these off um, in the sink or the dishwasher or something and then bring them back and just plop them in kind of maybe kind of like a, um, a socket set um, that would be really cool I don't know how to do that quite yet I'll have to think on that but all the designs I've designed in SolidWorks, and I've tried to make uh, PDF files where you can print them out and use them as a template to, you know, find where you need to drill your holes uh, easily. Um, dimensions should be in inches. I will try to make metric and A4 sized paper dimensions for those that live in anywhere but the US um, so I am trying to be international with my my files but um, so that's it and I hope you like it and I, I love to see what what kind of uh, modifications that you guys come up with and thanks for watching